In this tutorial in CyberLink ProDirector, I'd like to show you how you can take three typical 16 by 9 video clips and then have the figures in the clips slide into the screen vertically one at a time. We're going to show you a quick example and then we'll show you the technique for making this happen. First thing we're going to do is take our first clip and I'm going to highlight it and then click on the edit button above the timeline and then in my menu I'm going to click on the option near the bottom third called crop zoom and pan. Now I want to take this from a 16 by 9 to something else I'll use freeform I'll cl click the arrow and choose freeform and I've already used my tool here to give myself some grid lines. I'm using a 3x3 three three grid line I've applied. And so when I shrink it, it will snap to the grid line and give me approximately a third of the image. I'm going to move it over just a little bit to center it a little more on my talent and then click on OK. We'll take the second one and hit crop zoom and pan. We turn that from 16 by 9 to freeform again. Again, I have my rule of thirds here. And so we'll take and we'll take a third of it. And we'll move this over to center it. Hopefully he will be about there in most of the video. Click on OK. Then all I have to do is repeat that with my third video. Again, we're on freeform. And let's change it here to one third. And click on OK. Now what I need to do is stack these. So I'll give myself some more room. We'll take this and put it underneath and take this and put it on a higher numbered track. Now when we click here, we're going to see only the track on the top. So we're going to have to move those. Let's give us some more room so you can see exactly what we're doing. And so I'm going to take this last one and double click on it. Let's take him from the center and let's move him to the left and it will snap and click on OK. Now let's take the gal, double click on that clip and we'll move it to the right. Click on OK. Now if we play this from the beginning we're going to see each of the video clips in motion with the talent approximately in the center of the screen. Again, these weren't shot perfectly, but this gives you an illustration. Now what we want to do is move each of them in. Let's take the young man first. Let's take him and we're going to bring him in from the top. So I'm going to click on that clip and double click and we'll use position keyframes. So I need to know when I want that to move in. I'm going to click on my time code and type in one or seconds and zero for the frames. And then I'm going to right click and add a timeline marker. And at that one second mark, I want to click on the position value and that will make it full screen. Let's move our time code to the beginning and I'll click again and we have it full here, but we're going to change it. Let's just simply drag this up. Again, the pink lines will show you when you're exactly horizontal and vertical. So he's done. Now let's make the gentleman come in from the bottom. So I'm going to go to that clip. And we'll double click. And here I'm going to set a timeline marker at two seconds and zero frames. Press enter. And then we'll hit a timeline marker here for reference. So that's when I want him to be done. So we're going to go to the initial marker, click a position value. We'll go to the next timeline marker and click a position value. And we'll go to the first one. And we'll drag him up from the bottom. Click on OK. Let's go to the gal. And we'll have her come in last. We're going to double click and now we're going to have her at three seconds and zero frames 
and we'll right click and we'll set a timeline marker. Let's play what we have so far. One, two, okay she's going to be the two to three. So we're going to click here. I set an additional timeline marker I didn't need. That's fine. I'll go to the position value. I'll go here and we'll set a position value. We'll go back to the second one and we'll set another one. And let's see, I think I want her to come up from the top. So we're going to set and slide this up. And then we'll get to the next position value. We'll click over here. She'll be all the way down. So I'll click OK. Let's look at the beginning of the clip and see what we have as we play it. Coming down, coming up, coming down. And that's a pretty clean way of doing a multiple vertical where you're using a subject in each panel for CyberLink PowerDirector.